Hello everyone, good evening. So today we'll pick the basic fundamentals of AmScript, which will be a very basic introduction for 10 minutes. So what is AmScript? I've already written here, according to my knowledge, but I'm not sure whether it is the same, but this is a proprietary language of Salesforce. SSJS is a proprietary language of Microsoft. That is very important for you people to know it. So let me jump into the drive, that is the help talk of Salesforce, developer.salesforce.com. And here I would like to know three languages, guided template language, server-side scripting. Let me go into this. Hopefully there is a link to Microsoft MSDN. Yeah, MSDN, Microsoft.net. MSDN stands for Microsoft.net. You can see these versions. If you want to learn in detail, deep dive into SSJS, this is where we need to learn, actually, because this is a proprietary language of Microsoft. Okay, so let's go and learn. This is a very good example to practice <coughs> from Salesforce, Marketing Cloud, that is AmScript. I'm coming to GTL. GTL is a guided template language coming from um, one more language called Mustache language. Uh, sometimes I might pronounce it wrong. It is, uh, I have, yeah, here it is, Mustache JS. You can see this one, documentation. And this is running on NPM. NPM stands for Node Package Manager, NPM, which is the Node JS. Okay, you can find all the uh, documentation on this how it runs, and once again, it falls for the JavaScript. JavaScript plays a powerful, powerful language nowadays. It's very, very powerful. So you people have to learn it. And who manages JavaScript? It is managed by ECMAScript, ECMA. ECMA is a organization which governs JavaScript, ECMAScript. Uh, seven is what it is released. ECMAScript, JavaScript ES6, W3 schools, you have to know who is ECMAScript ECMA in Wikipedia, that's a good practice. Let me not deep dive into those things. So this is SSJS, let me jump into the actual one, what we want to learn, AMScript Syntax Guide. This is what it has. It has language elements. AMScript language elements. We have constants, we have attribute and data extensions, which is custom object values. We have keywords. We have keywords, we have operators. Keywords, we have operators. We have if condition statements or conditional evaluation one, you can find it in any language, <clears throat> not only in this. Using for Process loop, for loop, set statement, how to use it. What is set statement, when should we use it? We have some output statements. We need to learn this one, which is always a favorite question of mine in interviews, that is commenting. In any language, if you learn, any language has something called commenting. You should know what is comments and how to use it, and then some process. Very basic element, very, very, very small language, to be frank. And then we should deep dive into function calls. So let me jump into a notepad and let me start typing that AMP script part. Okay, when I'm doing it, I want to save this part in my system. So I'll stop this, pause this recording and I'll begin again. Thank you. AMP script. So try to know the, this is very important. Many a times I've seen in, especially in Resume is AMP, they type however they want. No, it should be like this. JavaScript, it is a single word. jQuery, I've seen this one. jQuery, no, it should be jQuery. This is very important. If I don't see that these things in resume, I will never entertain them. Okay, AMP script is used in SFMC, Salesforce Marketing Cloud, in the email build cloud pages, mobile connect SMS. 
<coughs> SSJS is used in SFMC, Salesforce Marketing Cloud. In we cannot use JavaScript in email. You should be using it in Cloud Pages. Automation Studio Script Activity. We can use in these are the two major places. We use it in a server. Can we use AMP script in the automation scripting? Yes, but there are slight modifications, but yes, we can use. But it should be merged with SSJS. So these are the locations where we can use it. This is very important for us to know. Now, my favorite is always to differentiate between AMP script and SSJS. SSJS is more powerful than AMP script. Why? SSJS can, it is having arrays. It has try catch, a powerful try catch compared to AMP script. AMP script also handles exception handling because JS is powerful and then it has been made to run on server. That is the reason it is called a server side. Arrays, try catch block, um, handling JSON data, JavaScript object information. And it can process more data comparatively faster to AMP script. Now the question is why don't we use or why can't we use SSJS in email build condition statements? Emails never support JavaScript itself. So you will never see that. Means event handling. Take the mouse over it, it should open up, pop up. All these things are done in browser. No doubt you open your mails in browser, but mails have a restriction. They don't use JavaScript. It won't allow you to JavaScript. So undoubtedly you cannot use jQuery, AngularJS, SSJS, or anything and everything which falls under this tree of JavaScript. Good. Okay, that is an information for you. Good. Now, <coughs> after having all these basic things, let me give you very basic syntax of it. Syntax, as I've explained before, is the grammar. Double percentage, square bracket, double percentage. If you want to write absolute, it has to be enclosed here. Very simple. Within this, you can write variable declaration. I use keywords of AMSCript in uppercase. AMSCript is not case sensitive language. You can write var like this, var like this. All these works as expected. But throughout my training, I'll go with keywords. Whenever I type uppercase, it is one of the keywords in AMP script. And you should have a variable at let's take name at then we'll have email address. I'll try to explain you how the naming should be given as a best practice. All the names what you give should be in lowercase best practice not mandatory i want to give some values then you have to use the keyword set at name is equal to 12 is a number in scripting languages there is no data type in float but it is having a data type based on the value what you give if you give 12 name is a number if you use double quotes then it is a string name is salesforce marketing code don't forget the scripting language concept set there is no semicolon required because it is not a statement based one with semicolon you can write by giving a single space preferably try to write in multiple lines email address is equal to marketing at ndo.com. Now I'll take one more variable. It's not mandatory to declare a variable. 
in scripting languages am script is also one of the scripting languages this is optional line so you can declare any variable cd is equal to san francisco so go with my city okay now you might see this in many places set how to print this on the screen then we need so i want to print all the three variables on the screen to do that i need to go with html so in the next upcoming sessions i'll try to show you how to write html and app script together how to merge them mix and match and all we'll learn it down the line so i'll go with head tag as usual and then i'll try to write the body tag i want to print those three variables of am script in html so i'll go with h1 tag my name is h1 tag close now how to print it very simple you should use you you cannot use now double percentage like this because it's not purely am script it is merged with html double percentage double equals double percentage we need to use v function v function when i use the word function remember that it will have a round bracket i'll try to have a separate session on functions function calling function defining there are three things we'll do that function you specify the name of the variable this is how you should, you will print it in html all the variables which you want to print it from am script into html is you need to use double percentage double equals double percentage within this double quotes you should use the function v and here mm, my name is my email address is but it should be dynamic in future and then we'll be going with my city is and what should i print here the variable name email address see okay. this is very basic so each day we'll pick one component that is if else loops constants nested if else if else if ladder and more so we'll try to learn all these basic syntaxes expectation is you should be executing this in your own account because i don't have this so this is the very basic introduction to am script and we have a guide that is the syntax guide if you know any language you can learn this very easily this is very small language actually to be frank okay according to me i'm not sure about others because everything has been documented and we should learn that documentation read it and just start applying those functions but i try to have one separate uh, session on functions how to define a function how to call a function and what is function call up all about that. so this is very basic introduction to am script so please make sure that you people are practicing this one you can jump into this only if you are very familiar with language elements good and never ever type a capital and remaining in lower case always type amp in capital letter so thank you very much for watching this video we'll be connecting in the next video for ssjs Thank you.